100 years ago, when the municipality of St. James was first formed, the growing urban center was proud of the many modern services. One such amenity was druggists or pharmacies. In rural towns, druggists often established businesses before doctors or hospitals were available. And though these businesses were important, many drug druggists had to supplement their business by selling other products like perfume, cosmetics, candy, chemicals, railway tickets, or ice cream. Some combined their pharmaceutical practice with their practice as a physician, veterinary services, or photo services. And many pharmacies became a social hub because of the popularity of soda water fountains. Apothecary's Hall on Main Street and Vanatine Avenue installed the first soda water fountain in Western Canada in 1873. On display here we have some products that might have been sold at a pharmacy. We have magazines and also some boxes of chocolate. Today, pharmacists dispense pharmaceuticals in their finished form. But 100 years ago, druggists were also responsible for mixing or combining ingredients into medicines in various forms. They had specialized equipment which allowed them to cut, round, and coat pills, or measure and mix powders. On display we have an example of a scale that a pharmacist might have used to measure different ingredients. The pharmacist would have used counterweights like these which range um, in weight from 100 to 0 0.01 grams. In 1921 in St. James there were two pharmacies, Perry's Pharmacy and St. James Pharmacy, and both were located on Portage Avenue. Pictured here is a 1918 newspaper advertisement for Perry's Pharmacy. This pure sublime sulfur was sold at Perry's Pharmacy to treat sore throats and mild forms of diphtheria. Alex Perry completed the one-year pharmacy course provided by the Manitoba Pharmaceutical Association in 1912-13. He operated Perry's Pharmacy from 1918 to 1947. Rexall Drugs was one of the later pharmacies that opened in St. James. At the museum, we have a, a family travel box from Rexall Drugs, and some of the products included in this box are a seltzer for upset stomach and headaches, we have children's aspirin, children's cough syrup, and bandages, uh, and a mineral oil emulsion. And in the picture is another uh, later pharmacy in St. James, Canada Drugs, also on Portage Avenue. The oldest known mural in Winnipeg was painted on a well-known St. James drugstore in the mid-1930s. The Tramp mural has been a familiar landmark in St. James for almost 100 years. In the early days, the building stood alone without development around it, so it was the last landmark before leaving the city traveling west. The mural was painted by Leslie Charlie Smith when he was around 21 years old. The image reminded passerbyers that the next drugstore was 54 miles away in Portage La Prairie. Henry Carmen Rutten graduated from the two-year U of M pharmacy course in 1919 and established Carmen Rutten's drugstore in the early 1920s. Rutten preferred herbalist medicines with natural ingredients and he created his own pills for poison ivy, which was probably an early form of antihistamine, and a hay fever remedy, which were popular in the greater Winnipeg area, but also across the country through mail order. 
The driving philosophy of his practice was to treat the cause and not the effect, which is something he believed that the doctors of the day weren't doing. We have some uh, boxes from Carmen Rutten's pharmacy that would have held things like intestinal antiseptic and red sulfur. Here we have a photograph of the inside of Rutten's drugstore in 1942. In the 1950s, Rutten rented the building to Jack Andrews, who also ran a pharmacy business. By that time, the mural had faded, so Jack, who was also a sign painter by trade, repainted it, although in a slightly different design. Rutten moved back to his original building in the late 1950s and then retired in 1973. The next tenants of the building repainted the mural again in the current design and it was professionally restored in 1994. Thank you for joining me for the St. James Centennial feature on pharmacies. For more content celebrating 100 years of St. James, visit our website at stjamesmuseum.com.